got the Chevy Three-Way tailgate party going on in the back. And of course, our helmet cam is bigger and deafer with my man Mario Tovar yeah. from Kennedy. Now, as we step into the locker room, Bakersfield High hasn't been too hospitable in home routes of Quartz Hill and Foothill. Could Golden Valley upset the Drillers at BHS? Now, the Drillers came out to protect their home turf, and their mascot was ready. Except for nothing, Drillers, and they're wanting more. Silas Nasita, who had four TDs last week, goes around right in, and he'll get to the corner of the end zone. 16 yards for the score, 14 zip BHS. Same score, second quarter, the pitcher running back Derek Vickers, and he'll take it around the right side for 17 yards in the score to make it 21 0 BHS. Still 21 0, and BHS is now on the receiving end of this punt. It's high and over the head of the drillers, Kevin Hayes. But he grabs the pill at the 16, heads upfield, shakes a couple of tacklers, and heads towards the left sidelines where he's got some room and blocks to go with that. Now he's gonna spin out of a tackle, keep going, and get what appears to be an 84-yard touchdown return. But he was called out at the three. Nonetheless, six different players scored for the Drillers, who defeated Golden Valley for a third consecutive year, this time in a 48-6 win. Now Chavez and Kennedy meet in a showdown next week in league play, and I'm here with Kennedy's Giovanni Diaz, defensive back. Giovanni, it's been tough the last couple of weeks. You guys have not won a game yet. Talk to me about the challenge that Chavez brings to you. Uh, I, I think we're going to be very good with these guys competitively, uh, both defensively and offensively, and special teams, of course. You know, you guys have had a little bit of trouble scoring touchdowns, but talk to me about some of the things you need to work on this week in order to improve. I think uh, for offense, we need to uh, hold our blocks more because we have that initial contact, really good push. We just need to hold it. Now, the two teams came here today. You guys have seen each other. What is it that you think uh, Chavez brings to the table in terms of competitiveness? I think we're going to be very good competitively. Uh, these guys should be able to run with us. We should be able to run with them. Uh, I think it's going to be a very good game. You know, what are some of the things that you've seen in practice that you guys can improve on? Some of the teamwork, camaraderie. What are, one, what are two things that you see to point out? Uh, I, I, we're, very, we're very good family. We're really tight knit. And I think that we, we just improve on our own individual performances because as a team, we're really rock solid. Thanks, Giovanni, and good luck next Friday night. All right, thank you too, Preston. Now, as we step back into the locker room, Independence and Miramonte were facing each other after different outcomes last week. The Lions snuck by Shafter, but Independence was edged by Highland. Now, the two squads were going to battle it out for the Griffin Bowl trophy. Third quarter, 14-9 Independence, when Falcons quarterback Preston Hodges looks left, throws right, and connects with DeAndre Jackson for 25 yards, who increased their lead to 20-9. Same score third quarter when Hodges rolls right, somehow eludes a host of Lions, gets around the pylon, and he's going to get a 10-yard touchdown to put Independence up 27-9. The Falcons will wind up holding on to defeat Miramonte 34-25. Foothills' Marlon Buccio got the hookup as Foothills' homecoming king, and the Trojans hosted South. Scoreless in the first when quarterback Ryan Rangel hits Ricky Avaro. He evades a shoddy tackling, takes off with the quickness, and it's a foot race to the goal line before he's pulled down inside the South 10. That would lead to a field goal, but disaster struck for South with a bad snap, the scramble, and Foothill's Cameron Allen recovers in the end zone for the score and a 10-zip Foothill advantage. The Foothill defense handled its business and controlled things by forcing five turnovers. Foothill had little trouble defeating South. 23 to 7. And for our defensive player of the week, we go back to South and Foothill, where Foothill defensive back Cameron Allen led a stellar defensive effort in his team's 23 7 win over the Rebels. He recovered this bad snap of the end zone for a score and helped lead a squad which forced five South turnovers. Cameron Allen, our defensive player of the week. Coming up next on the 23 yard line, Ridgeview and Arvin squared off. And can Chavez get his first league victory? The Chevy Three Way tailgate party is going on. The 23 yard line will be right back. <laughs>